Hey, this is Matthew with BI Polder. In today's data culture video, we are going to look at the importance of having strategic goals well defined so you can measure your success and to make sure that every action that you take while building a data culture is aligned with those goals. Let's take a look. Let's start off today's video by taking a look at a quote from one of history's greatest generals. So Sun Tzu is a Chinese general who is best known for his surviving book, The Art of War. And this is a place where a lot of business consultants will get pithy wisdom and try to shoehorn it into uh, a modern context. But despite the fact that battle and business, battle intelligence and business intelligence are different arenas, there's still something to be learned there. And this quote is something that I think about a lot as I'm working with large global enterprise companies that are working to get more from their investments in data and to build a data culture. And one of the things that Sun Tzu said in his Art of War is that strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory and that tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. So let's pick this apart a little bit. If you know where you're trying to go, but you don't yet know how to get there, you will be able to figure out how to get there eventually because you have that strategic goal in mind. But if you don't know where you're going, and you're just going, 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 figuring you'll get there eventually, this is not going to take you to success especially in a competitive environment, whether it's on the battlefield or in the global business arena. Think back to our video on executive sponsorship. Do you remember how we discussed that a data culture cannot be successful without an engaged executive sponsor? We're sort of closing the loop on that in this video because those strategic goals need to be set at the top. Even though the tactics, the day-to-day -day execution, will be carried out by people across the organization, that strategy needs to be defined by an executive sponsor, by the board of directors, by the, the chief executive or chief data or chief information officer. These executive leaders will define what the data culture needs to do to be successful. And in our last video, we looked at uh, measuring success. We looked at some of the ways that organizations measure the success of their efforts adopting managed self-service BI and working towards having uh, a data culture. But without that executive sponsor to help define what you're measuring and why it's important, all of the other things are going to fall apart eventually. Or you'll end up spending a lot of time at the beginning figuring out what the longer-term goal is rather than figuring out the goal and moving towards it deliberately from the beginning. One way to think about this is uh, soccer, football. So uh, I am not a sports person, so please forgive me if this analogy does not hold water, but imagine if you are on a football team and you're playing against people that know the rules. So they know that you're allowed to kick in certain ways and use your head but not your hands, I guess. Uh, and you and your team, you don't know the rules yet. So you're doing things and you probably have an idea because you've watched, uh, you know, you've watched a game or you've talked to people, but you're trying, you're trying to learn the specific rules as you go and with talent and with perseverance and with luck, you may end up being successful or you may end up not losing as badly as you otherwise might, but imagine how much more successful you would be right from the beginning if you knew the rules, if you knew how to score a point and what was allowed and what was not allowed. This is analogous to tactics without strategy. If you don't know where you're going, you can't figure out how to get there. Another analogy, let's, let's walk away from uh, the sports ball references here. Let's say that we're trying to get from Seattle to New York. 
So we've defined up front our strategic goals. We're currently in Seattle, we need to get to New York, and the only map we have is the map that we're looking at here. So it's probably not the best map to help us figure out what specific roads to take or what specific obstacles we need to avoid. But as long as we know the general direction and the general landscape between where we are and where we need to be, we can figure out the rest as we go. Are we going to go south? Not for very long. We need to go east. And by having this strategic goal well-defined from the beginning, we can avoid a lot of mistakes as we're starting off that would otherwise cost us dearly. I'm going to close with another quote from The Art of War, another quote from Sun Tzu. And this is, the natural formation of the country is the soldier's best ally. And I'm going to have to twist this one around a little bit more to make it fit into a data culture context. But I think that this is one that will hold up to close inspection. In war, you need to understand the landscape and the terrain where the battles will take place. When you're building a data culture, you need to understand what your organization does today. Not just what it says it does, but what it actually does what teams and what departments operate in what way, where there's an opportunity for a quick victory, where you need to take a more thoughtful, long-term approach because the leaders in a given department or business unit are reluctant or traditional in the way that they think about data. If you don't understand the landscape of your business, you can't successfully define the tactics that will allow you to execute on the strategy where that strategy, because you're taking that long view, that strategy is guiding your every action. Hopefully this was valuable. We'll see you next time. Thanks very much.